Bay St. Louis has a thriving arts community, growing economy, packed with waterfront development anchored by a state-of-the-art marina, and lots of development activity, residential, retail, and commercial. A large part of Bay St. Louis sits on top of a web of coastal streams comprising the 772-acre Magnolia Bayou watershed. The stream system has two major forks joining shortly before they enter the Bay of St. Louis at the Bay Waveland Yacht Club. Recreational opportunities include birding, wildlife viewing, and other types of nature study and limited kayaking. Fishing and crabbing is possible from the bridge at Beach Boulevard. The ecosystem is part of an important riparian corridor with lush hydrophilic vegetation lining the stream banks. The bayou is home to a diverse variety of species living on land, in the air, and in water. Fish include freshwater, estuarian, and saltwater species. Many of the species in the bayou are in danger and classified by species of greatest conservation need. An additional serious problem is the presence of many invasive species, particularly plants along the stream bed. There are minimal barriers to prevent invasive fish from entering the stream. We found a bay one league wide and four leagues in circumference forming a half circle. We went ashore there and found such a great quantity of game of all kinds of animals that we killed more than 50 buffalo and deer. In the late 1800s, the bayou was a lumber port shipping the products of Mississippi's burgeoning timber industry. In 1904, it became the home of Peerless Oysters, a massive oyster processing and canning plant. Hurricane Camille destroyed the oyster plant. Some artifacts remain. In the late 50s and 60s, the air experienced tremendous growth. The newly built Stennis Space Center brought new residents, economic development, and cultural diversity. Bay St. Louis continued to grow in popularity. Climate change has brought active hurricane seasons, and in 2005, Hurricane Katrina created a perfect storm. Counterclockwise rotation of winds pushed the storm surge up into the Jordan River and washed through the bayou from behind. Upsurge in development is threatening the bayou's fragile ecosystem. Major threats include residential development and urbanization, commercial and industrial development, invasive species, climate change and severe weather, garbage and solid waste management, canals and dredging, fishing and harvesting. As part of an educational grant, students at the Boys and Girls Club studied watershed dynamics, impacts of stormwater runoff on water quality and quantity, and the important role of watershed planning and action. Field trips, observations, and activities were conducted. Water quality tests were conducted for pH, salinity, turbidity, and dissolved oxygen. Data collected and lessons learned are included in this exhibit. We built this scale model of the bayou to simulate groundwater runoff and absorption. Natural and man-made surface features and vegetation are represented. By controlling the amount of rainfall and speed of drainage, we can simulate the dynamics of the watershed. Much of the watershed is continually being developed with many single and multifamily homes, commercial development, retail, and schools. Today, only 15% of the watershed remains essentially unaltered marsh. By engaging stakeholders, building awareness and accountability, we can grow Bay St. Louis intelligently and protect this important watershed bayou and riparian corridor for the enjoyment of future generations. <laughs>